Welcome to Intuitive Transformations with your host, Sylvia Henderson, and discover tools, wisdom, and inspiration that will empower you to transform your life. Sylvia is an intuitive life coach and energy healer with a growing practice that is focused on empowering others to be more of who they want to be. For the next hour, join Sylvia and explore and unravel anything in the way of you creating the life that you would love to live on the Ohm Times Radio Network. Hello, everyone, and a very happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers who are listening to today's show. And welcome to Intuitive Transformations Radio, the show where you will find tools that you can use to change and transform your life. I'm here every Sunday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, right here on Ohm Times Radio FM, the voice of consciousness. I'm Sylvia Henderson. I am your host, and I am an intuitive. I am an intuitive. I can't speak, but I am an intuitive. I'm an energy healer, and I'm also a life coach. And if you would like to learn more about me and the work that I do, please visit my website at intuitivetransformations.net. That's intuitive transformations with an S dot net. And while you are there visiting my website, make sure that you sign up for my news you can use newsletter because I have some really exciting events that are coming up quickly starting with this month, May 2016. So just to give you a little sneak peek into what's coming down the pike very, very quickly, there is a free 75-minute intuitive group healing call that is designed to awaken your inner alchemist. Now, I'm doing this call with Belinda Womack. She and I are co-hosting this upcoming free call. And we're going to provide you with so much more than a group healing. Um, this not, that's not to diminish the value of healing in a group because there's something vibrational or energetically that just kind of builds and increases in intensity where, uh, when one or more are gathered together with a common intention. Um, so this is going to be very, very powerful. But there will also be some amazing teaching that's going to be brought forth. Um, Belinda is a phenomenal clear channel for uh, the archangels. She is the author of lessons from the 12 archangels and she's already been on my show twice already because she is such a remarkable personality, such a pure light that the planet has right now. And um, again, such a clear channel of, uh, of what the angels have to say. And so this awaken your inner alchemist will be a transformative alchemical group healing teaching and there's also going to be a Q&A opportunity so everyone who participates will be able to ask questions about their personal life especially as it relates to the information that um, Belinda and I bring forth and the, the healing and the clearing that we're going to do so to sign up for these uh, for this uh, freebie um, what you want to do is you need to be either on my newsletter list or you need to be on Belinda Womack's newsletter list. Um, we really want to focus on nurturing um, our own individual communities. We're bringing them together. So we have kind of this soul tribe um, vibrational energy going on on the call. So if you want to participate, make sure that you are on my email newsletter list or go to uh, Belinda. BelindaWomack.com, and there you can sign up for her newsletter. And, you know, if you really feel so inclined, why not just sign up for both? Why not? You know, two's better than one. That's what I think. Um, and I think you're really, really going to enjoy this call. It's something that has been on my heart and on Belinda's heart. It's uh, going to evolve into a monthly ongoing group healing call. Um, again, that's going to be called Awaken Your Inner Alchemist. It, and it looks like the free event might end up occurring on Tuesday, May 17th. And that's just right around the corner. And um, again, if you want to take advantage and participate for free, 
for this live call, which by the way, you're going to either, you'll have the ability to call in to participate and you'll also have the ability to go online and see us visually live because this will be a video call as well. So that's really exciting because you'll get to see how Belinda and I both work. Um, and and it just something about seeing someone when you're doing a healing work, because I do all of my I like to do my healing work via Skype. There are some people I've done by the phone, but there's something amazing when you can have that eye to eye contact, even if you're a thousand of miles away. So um, after this live call starting in June, the price is going to be thirty nine dollars plus whatever event bright charges for their service fee. So um just to give you a little sneak peek, because I love my intuitive transformation radio listeners, I, it would be wonderful to have you join me on the call and do more than just listen to me on the air, but actually be able to engage and get some questions answered. So the topic for today's show is cracking the family code. And what a perfect day we have, being that it's Mother's Day, to talk about family issues. <laughs> I mean, isn't it that the holidays seem to um, bring families together and uh, everyone shows up with their stuff? And um, if you've been fortunate enough to have a really wonderful, amazing relationship with your family members and with your mom, then it's probably just one of the things you just can't wait to experience. And you're so excited to get to see everyone. But there are people out there that maybe they don't have quite that um, enthusiasm about gathering together with their entire family. And so for some people, gathering together during the holidays or days like this on Mother's Day or even just connecting with their mother, you know, it can bring up um, flashbacks of unresolved hurts and old misunderstood communications and generally kind of a, lo a lot of confusion about, you know, am I adult or am I five, you know, <laughs> that kind of can get triggered as well. So today we're going to talk about not only how we can begin to dig a little um, deeper in, and actually uncover some of the rich lessons, find out how we can uncover some of the rich lessons from our families of origin, but we're also going to talk about, you know, how we can really create and start to live a life of our dreams because uh, – I truly believe that's why we came here as a divine infinite being in physical form is that we have this rich physicality that allows us to manifest and materialize from the unseen into the seen. And so my very special guest is here today to share some of her wisdom and insights and to help us do just that. Her name is Leslie E. Miller. And Leslie is a licensed holistic health practitioner. She's a Reiki master, a massage therapist, a teacher, and an inspirational, and she's the inspirational author of Cracking the Family Code, A Guide to Living Your Dreams, A Love Letter from My Soul. Leslie works with clients to improve the quality of their lives, and she guides them on the path of their soul's purpose and the path to living their dreams. Some of Leslie's treatment sessions include her You Are Your Dreams coaching tools, therapeutic massage, Reiki healing touch, crystal healing, Marma point therapy, chakra balancing, intuitive and angel readings, and nutritional and spiritual counseling. Leslie has taught at the Mueller School of Holistic Studies, and she now teaches a variety of inspirational workshops about healing your energy, learning to trust your intuition, boy, that's important, reading auras, past lives, and dream interpretation. She has a private practice, which is located in the heart of Encinitas, California, and she's joining us here from her home today. Leslie Miller, welcome to the show. Thank you, Sylvia. I'm so honored and happy to be here. Well, I am honored and happy to have you here, my dear, because I'm excited to talk about, you know, the book that you've written, which is just um, 
pithy with information and knowledge and wisdom. I can tell you've really wanted to put really all of your knowing and understanding and learnings into this and, and content into this book, which is a beautiful endeavor of love. Mm-hmm. And, and so you've written this book, Cracking the Family Code, A Guide to Living Your Dream, yes. a love letter from my soul. What led you to, to writing this book and why did you decide to call it Lead with Cracking the Family Code? Mm. Well, this is so amazing because <clears throat> actually this book is the easiest thing I've ever done in my life writing it, not editing it. But so about three or four years prior to writing the book, I received the title. And I thought, oh, wow, that's a great title for a book. So I I wrote it down in my computer. And every time I would sit down to write the book, nothing would come through. So I thought, well, that's strange. I got a great title. I'm not exactly sure what to do with it. And at that time, I was teaching at Mueller College of Holistic Studies. So what I didn't realize now in hindsight that I do realize is that, you know, I was gathering information still when I received the title and that when the book was ready to come through three or four years later, which it did, um, it, and it came through really quickly, the, I actually wrote the book in six months. And it's, what? 400, it's 408 pages. I know. And that's why I say this book wrote me. So it was actually sort of a, a channeled, um, I would say it's channeled because a, a lot of the information I actually didn't know when I wrote it. Wow. So, and here's the, well, actually, I'll get into that after, after the break. Um, but what I would say is, you know, as is true for everyone, our entire lives, we're gathering information to live and have the, the wisdom to live our greatest dreams. But in high, we only realize that usually in hindsight. Isn't that true? That's yes. so true. Well, everyone, as you can tell, we're about to go right into a break. And when we return, more of Leslie Miller. And we're going to continue this conversation about cracking the family code. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Do you want to be a better communicator? Do you want to better connect with the important people in your life? Do you want to enrich your relationships? If so, join me, Matthew Cooper, on the Positive Control System Show every Wednesday evening at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Ohm Times Radio. I'll meet you there. time to read that inspiring book or that blog post you've been meaning to get to? In your busy world, how do you improve yourself and keep your life going? I'm Lisa Kay, and my Between Heaven and Earth radio show can transform your life just by listening. Be uplifted with inspiring topics, positive stories, and ideas that really work. Between Heaven and Earth radio is conscious living for your soul every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. The name is Bond. James Bond. No, the name is Joe. The Joe Show. And we are returning back for our ninth season here on Old Times Radio. So tune in every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, on oldtimes.com slash mobile. You can take us wherever you go. Yeah! Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. The best of holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM.
Miller. We're talking about her book, Cracking the Family Code. And before we went to the break, um, Leslie was just sharing that she had the title Cracking the Family Code long before she actually started writing the book and that this book pretty much just went came through her in a very short period of time. Six months is not a long time. For those of you who are writers, you know that's not a long time for over 400 pages of, of content, especially content that has a uh, uh, quite a bit of value. And she also shared that so much, I mean, that some of the stuff, some of the information that she's written about, she didn't even know, but it just kind of came forward fluidly, which is a beautiful way to be able to write. Leslie, I hope one day to be able to write a book that way. That would really uh, help me actually get a book published. So <laughs> kudos well, actually, to you. Sylvia, I'm an intuitive too, and I see two or three for you at least. Oh, I, you know what? Yes, yeah. I will go with that. Thank you so yeah, much. That, that's, that's a done deal. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, yeah. okay. So you were given the title long before yes. and the book just kind of kind of flew through you really in a very short period of time. So what exactly is the family code that we need to crack? Ah, So the family code is um, essentially prior to the time we were, you know, born into a, a physical body, we, our souls choose what we're going to learn and work on. Essentially, I call them the core lessons that we'll work on this lifetime. And so the family code is essentially the lessons that we will be learning, our core lessons. Let's just say one of my lessons this this lifetime is learning about boundaries, which many of us earth angels, which I think everyone's an earth angel, <laughs> many of us have to learn, right? Mm-hmm. So um, in choosing my family, which I believe we all do on an energetic or vibrational level, we choose, and it makes perfect sense. Of course, we're going to choose a vibrational energy that allows us to learn those lessons. Now, I also have a philosophy that the more um, challenges you go through, the bigger your purpose is, you know, it, it means you've come here for a really big reason. Um, and I think, you know, everyone's here for an important purpose. But I say that because, and I'm I'm chiming in a little bit to your last show, when you were talking about, you know, how some of us uh, go through a lot of challenges in our family life growing up. And I think that For example, even you, I was listening to your story and I thought, well, there's such a beauty in that because you were born to to come here and inspire millions of people through your ripple effect energetically. And in order to do that, you yourself have to heal the very things that you will help others to heal. Otherwise, vibrationally, you can't lift them to that level. Does that make sense? Oh, my God, Leslie. I think you're the only healer who gets that, that I know. (laughs) Seriously. I mean, the whole you have said what I the same info that I've been getting that it's and no disrespect to anyone who really does believe that we have this committee meeting and say, well, I don't know. I think I'd like that life. I, it is vibrational matching yeah. because everything is about vibrational alignment. It and is. that's why you can't bring anything in unless you're in a vibrational alignment. Awesome. And from my point of view, and I'm not sure if you agree with this or not, but when we do choose our families, it's about vibrational alignment. It's like, yes. what is that soul vibrating at at that time? Yes. That family matches that vibration. Absolutely. And then it allows the similar content in physical form for you then to be able to, um, to outcome, outco- you know, to change, to, yes. to actually uh, create alchemy, to turn the lead into gold. Yes. And then the other thing that you were sharing about, how the greater the challenge and not really being able to help others until you get it for yourself. Yes. Another huge aha for me that I didn't get until late last year, maybe early this year when I, cause I had another big breakthrough and I was like, wow, every time I have a breakthrough, I'm able to take my clients there. And I wasn't able to access that 
before I had my own breakthrough. So yes, darling, you are so, yes, I get it. (laughs) And and how you guys were talking about last week about how, you know, how do you clear this emotional clutter or this energetic, you know, baggage or clutter? Well, cracking the family code, when you realize that you created this for yourself or for yourself, you know, out of love, out of unconditional love, because your purpose will help millions of people, then you can really be thankful for it. And when you're thankful, then it clears energy and it opens up, you know, it opens up all sorts of new creative energy and the ability to help so many millions of people around the world. I, you know, that's my That's my uh, philosophy. So I think so much of it is about perspective when it comes to family members and when when it comes to um, healing the lessons that we chose to learn through our family members, you know, because they're technically, if you take faces off of people, it's really an energy Um, and and not that you should take their face off, but, (laughs) but the point is, is, you know, what energy is that, that, and what does that bring up for you? And then you can just be thankful for those lessons and and clear that energy. And part of the family code is when you learn those core lessons and clear that energy, your life purpose really comes into full bloom. Because then, because energy is designed to move and flow. And when you are resisting it, yes. frustrated by it, angry at it, holding on forgiveness, right. mad about it, right. it's, the energy just becomes solidified and yes. it becomes a wall the longer you stay in that. But when yeah. you can, and I, I actually kind of like the idea of, because um, I do hypnotherapy too, imagining that the, the um, personality that we think they are is not there and that could be through their face really seeing them as without these features we've identified as who they are and looking past that to the energy that's very profound Leslie Aww. well and that's true of ourselves as well you know and I, I really do believe that everyone is I mean for the most part I do believe everyone's doing the best they can with the level of awareness they're at so I try to give people the benefit of the doubt and as things come up, I'll, I'll say, what is that for me? You know, I'm willing to, and, and I think the, the biggest uh, empowering choice I made for myself, I thought, well, if I own it all, I can change it all. If I blame anyone, I'm disempowering myself. I'm giving my power away and I'm missing the lesson. So I would say, you know, if if you can and you will come into your full magical powers and experience so many miracles, if you just own it all, and I'm not saying, you know, take responsibility for others, I'm saying really take responsibility for you and just own your life and your creations and then you can change anything you want because you're fully empowered. I totally wholeheartedly agree with you and I think it's really hard and difficult for people who in our society were so conditioned to blame another and when I look at the political arena right now in the United States it is a classic example of of projected blame outside yes. of individuals where someone wants to blame someone else yes. for the experiences in our life. Now, mm-hmm. I know that some people have a hard time wrapping their arms around what happens when an innocent baby is sexually abused yes. or something tragic like that happens yes. and, and trying to understand that. And, and I can't say I know all the answers around that, yes. but I do believe that on a, a very deep soul level like you, we do create our own reality, but we can't change it without taking responsibility. Yes. And it doesn't mean we've done anything wrong either. No, 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 no. And, you know, oftentimes if I see, you know, and I've worked with a lot of people who have been sexually abused and bless their hearts, honestly, they didn't do anything wrong. And, and, you know, I have the utmost compassion in my heart for that. Um, And all the other things that, that appear to be bad. But at the same time, some of those people go and write books about it and they help millions and millions of people. So, you know, 
while I want to feel bad, I also think, oh my gosh, look, look what that person did, you know, and I see that as, as a, a larger role and part of such an amazing purpose. And that higher purpose is the part we don't really understand because yeah. it goes beyond what we, what we've been taught. Yes. We should or should not experience in our lives. Right. And what that means if we do experience X in our lives, or if we don't experience Y in our lives, yes. you know, and so we get caught up in these false expectations yeah. that don't really allow you to grow. They just allow you to feel safe and comfortable. Yes. And so when it's when that adversity comes in, not that I'm a big advocate for adversity, nobody wants it, but it it is the thing that allows you to grow. Yes, it is. Yeah, and I think, you know, in our in our physical bodies on this physical plane, we learn through contrast. We learn about what love is not, and we learn about what pain, you know, you know, crazy pain is. And then we learn what amazing love is. You know, you I, I don't even believe that you can come into knowing what unconditional love is, unless you felt maybe the opposite at times. You know, I, I, I always tell people, you know, the deeper of the deeper your well that you've dug of, you know, for pain, the deeper you can fill that with love. I completely agree. You cannot know, just like turning on the light. I mean, you cannot say, if it was light all the time, you wouldn't even know it was light exactly. because you would not have anything. Everything is duality. Yeah, it is. Everything in this third dimensional realm is duality. We get into the higher dimensions, it's a little different, but where we are, folks, yep. it's all about duality. And it's that contrast and comparison that allows us to know what one half of that duality is. You can't know one without the other. That's right. So let's get into your book a little bit. One of the things you talk about very strongly, because you devoted two chapters to, is the focus on the importance of of our creative life force energy, that it's important we protect it. Yes. Oh, are we already going into a break? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, when we return, everyone, we're going to have this conversation Perfect. <laughs> about the importance of your creative life force energy. We'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> the Real Conscious Connection. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Circle of Hearts Radio is a sanctuary on the airwaves. Join me, Grandmother Alaya, in the circle on Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, as I share information to both enlighten and nourish your soul. Hi, this is Sylvia Henderson, Intuitive Life Coach and Energy Healer. Are you ready to elevate and rise way above your normal? Be sure to listen to my show, Intuitive Transformations, on Own Times Radio, Sunday evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern. Get the inspiration you need to transform your life. Matt Connerton here. Join Jen Coffee and I twice a week for Matt Connerton Unleashed, a political talk show that's a little different than what you're used to. No liberal or conservative agenda here, just an honest dialogue about truth and how things really work in the world of politics. Matt Connerton Unleashed, every Tuesday and Thursday night at 11 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. As difficult as it is to believe, there are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Bringing a more conscious lifestyle to your world. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Well, we're back, everyone. This is Intuitive Transformations Radio with Sylvia Henderson, and I have my very special guest, Leslie E. Miller, and we are actually now going to talk about her book, (laughs) 
cracking the family code because she and I have had such a great time conversing. I love when I get to have someone on the show and we're so like-minded. It just, it makes time fly far, far too fast. I can't believe we're already halfway through the show, Leslie. This has really been Mm -hmm. lovely. I love it. I do too. So before the break music started, I was just asking you to talk a little bit about the importance of our creative life force energy, because you've devoted two chapters in your book to this. Yes. Well, yeah, I think that um, it's essentially about, it's about protecting our energy. And I, I think that that for me has been a big lesson this lifetime. And again, I've chosen to learn it with my family. I've chosen to learn, to learn it with many different people on this planet. So thank Thank you all for helping me learn. (laughs) Um, So protecting your energy, and I'll use the example of this book, because when I started to write this book and it started to come through, I knew that my soul was asking me to kick my life up a notch. So only eat organics, and I was mostly all organic anyway, but I only eat organics and Um, you know, give yourself a lot of time and space and rest time. And I was getting really specific guidance as far as um, how to be a clear channel. And part of that is I have a chapter called Just Say No. Mm -hmm. Um, At the time, I was living up in Seattle, actually. And uh, so this book was written in Seattle. Oh, my neck of the woods. (laughs) Yes, your neck of the woods. And I have, you know, my family up there who I love so much. And, you know, we're we're tight. And so we would want to do stuff a lot. But once the book started coming through, I said, hey, you know, I love you guys, but I have to make this first. You know, I have to make this number one. Then after the book was written, I moved back to um, Carlsbad, California, just north of San Diego. And again, you know, friends, there are always people who want to spend time with you and who want to, um, you know, create things in life with you. But for years, and I mean years, I made this book a priority and I had to say no. So for me, knowing that this book feels like an important part of my purpose, I put it at the very top of my priority list and when I say just say no and protect your energy, it's, um, you know, th- that's an important part of it. When you know your purpose and when you know when something feels powerful in your life, you know, y- you make that a priority and not get caught up in so many distractions because there will always be a million distractions on this planet, right? Exactly. And really, it's about making yourself a priority. Yes. And With everyone waking up pretty much like popcorn right now on the planet, people are are really starting to notice how empathic they really are. And that's why I love how you started off with learning boundaries. I think that that people who are empathic, highly sensitive, there's a lot of HSPs now that are identified that we didn't have this before, at least not to this level and degree, even individuals on the autistic spectrum, spectrum, you know, it's that whole energetic boundaries. If you can feel safe in those, you can also, you know, learn to say no better to other people when they start imposing on your own boundaries and learning to love yourself more than you love your lovers. That is so huge. Yeah, it's huge. And so what about the shoulds and the shouldn'ts? That's another one of my really favorite topics that I like to talk to people about. Yes. Yeah, I, ha- I have a chapter called the, sh- the should syndrome. I think, you know, all of us have so much programming from our upbringing, from our school, from this, you know, and I think we learn from such a young age oh, you should thank that lady or you should be nice to that lady or you should do this when you're a kid. And a lot of the times I feel like that forms sort of an inauthentic uh, inauthentic way of, of feeling, if you will, because maybe that isn't what a child feels. You know, a lot of times I'll see a mom say, oh, you should thank her. You should do this. And I'm like, well, I mean, it's good to give your kids guidelines, but at the same time, telling someone how to feel or what they should feel, it, it can be confusing. I think it's 
it can be a confusing message. So the should syndrome is, you know, all the things that we feel like we should be doing or what we should be feeling or doing. And really, we just need to follow our own path and our intuition, number one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, as you were saying that, I, I just think about little ones that go to big family reunions and they're reticent about going in and being in this big crowd of energy because huh. children are so empathic and they yes. feel so much, you know, before they learn to turn it off and shut it down by responding to what they should and should not do, which is really yeah. disowning your energy, disowning yourself. Yeah. And, you know, you can tell that someone's been highly conditioned in that if you are having a problem and they say to you, you shouldn't feel that way. Right. They're only they're only saying what they've been taught to believe. It's exactly. Yeah. And I, and I think that so many people feel like they should be doing something or they feel obligated or they feel like, oh, you know, I should do that because that person wants me to. But really, then you can get so off track in your life because you're you're shooting every day instead of. Instead of really looking in your heart, well, what do I want to do? How do I want to create today? How do I want to create my life? Like, is this my life? Am I creating every day exactly how I want it to be? Or am I doing what I think I should be doing? Yeah, that is so huge. And I think that's one of the the precursors to the midlife crisis issue yes. is that people finally wake up and say, wait a minute. I've been living a life I'm not happy with mm -hmm. because this is the life I've been told I should live. Agreed. And and then they do something like I'm going to go buy a red sports car because <laughs> <laughs> I want to be probably helps for ten minutes. <laughs> right, right. But let's talk about tapping into your into your intuition and how you know what can you say to people that are listening right now that they can do, especially if they've been so conditioned into doing what they should do, what they shouldn't do, going into their head to figure out their next steps. Yes. What kind of guidance can you offer? Well, I would say, you know, I used to actually teach at an intuitive um, institute, a clairvoyant institute, and, and, and teach people how to use their intuition and also teach myself to open it more. But here's what I would say. Most people that I have come into contact with in my life don't really feel like they truly are intuitive. So what I would say is, first of all, everyone on this whole planet is intuitive. All of you are. Even if you don't use that language or that verbiage, you are intuitive. And it is the only thing that is 100% trustworthy. You can always, always trust your intuition. It is your GPS. It is the only thing that will truly guide your path, that will bring your soul more joy than you can possibly imagine. So I, I would say... Uh, um, one, number one, trust it and know that you're intuitive. Know that you're intuitive beyond what you can imagine or what your brain can think. Um, what else would I say? So two, really learn about how you receive your information. Do you f have a gut feeling? Do you just know things? You know, a lot of people say, oh, gosh, I just had this feeling that walking down the aisle that that person wasn't right or I, I knew, you know, people always know on some level they they get an intuitive hit from their soul. So I would say, you know, if you trust that, even if you don't understand it, even if your brain can't wrap around why you're doing what you're doing, you know, there were years where I was taking actions based on my intuition Mm -hmm. And I really didn't understand why I was doing what I was doing, but I trusted myself enough to do it because I've also um, felt the consequences when I don't. So if you just take baby steps in life and get a feel for, and if you don't know in a particular situation, you know, to put out two golden bubbles in front of yourself 
And one is if I take this path, what here's one golden bubble. If I take another path, here's another golden bubble. What do each of those feel like? You know, go into that space on an energetic level and see, well, what does it feel like if I go this direction? What does it feel like if I make that decision? So you can intuit what choices for your highest and best. I love that because there is another model that's very um, left brain, which is write your pluses and minuses out on a piece of paper, which keeps you in your head. But going into that, that intuitive golden bubble and tapping into that energy and seeing what you feel in your body, what, you, yes. what you're feeling and sensing emotionally will will help you awaken that internal GPS that we all have. Yes. It. Yeah. And, and, you know, honestly, making a list is nice too. whatever helps you to process, because as you're making a list, it might be in your head, but it might come through you. That's right. And, you know, one of the things I do want to talk about also is how much you um, how many of the exercises include journaling and why that is important. Mm -hmm. So at the end of every chapter in my book, there are exercises to help you shift into a new space in life so that you can clear energy. It literally physically helps you clear Uh oh, did I lose you? Leslie, where'd you go? <laughs> Leslie? Oh. Okay, Leslie's missing for just a moment. We're going to try to get her back. Let me see if I can move some things around because we definitely want to continue this conversation. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, hold on, everyone, because this is such a good show. I want to make sure that we stay with Leslie. And do it looks like she's being called back now. Leslie, are you there? Are you there? Are you there now? Ah, Leslie, we lost you. Oh, no, everyone. Okay, we have about another minute before the break. While we're on the break, I'm going to try to get Leslie back here and see what is going on exactly. That has never happened on the show before. Thank you, everyone, for hanging in here while I try to figure this out for us. And it looks like she got dropped. So I'm going to try to add her in. Hold on as we go into a break. I'm going to get Leslie back. It's my mission. I promise to do so. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Join Elliot Jolish, the business therapist, each Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern for the Elliot Jolish Hour as he interviews business experts on your behalf. And you're invited to email your business questions to questions at ecjgroup.com for answers live on air every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern on the Elliot Jolish Hour. This is Terry Van Horn, and I want to invite you to join me for my weekly radio show, Hailing Light, on Own Times Radio, every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Hailing Light, we want to bring love, light, and blessings into your world. You can find out more about us at www.healinglightonline.com. Blessings. My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio, and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited.
The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Connecting you with the best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Well, hello everyone and welcome back. And it uh, looks like Leslie lost her connection because I've been trying to bring her back on over the break. And I'm seeing now that it's showing that she is offline. So I'm not sure what happened, but. Um, Oh, and I'm so sad because she and I were having such a great conversation. She's she's just absolutely amazing. And I just really um, so much more even appreciate her book just from our opportunity to talk the first three segments of the show. So um, for those of you, and I'm just going to keep watching to see if she happens to come back online. Oh, that's just so unfortunate. So the name of her book is Cracking the Family Code, A Guide to Living Your Dreams, A Love Letter from My Soul, Soul I'm sorry, by Leslie E. Miller. You can get it at Amazon.com. You can also go to her website, LeslieMiller.com, as well as CrackingTheFamilyCode.com and learn even more about Leslie and this amazing body of work that she's put together, which before the, uh, at the beginning of the show, at the top of the show, she was sharing how um, this book just pretty much just uh, uh, was fluidly um, created through her. Um, and in many ways, she channeled this information. There is something that I do want to point out that's in her book that I wanted to ask her about. And um, I'm pretty sure I know what she would say. But there is a sentence that I highlighted in Leslie's book, and it's, there is nothing more insulting to your own powerful soul than you thinking that you cannot create what you want in your life. So everyone who is listening to this show, I want you to know, and I know that Leslie would agree that this is absolutely truth. You came here as a divine, infinite being of light, uh, energy, knowing, knowing that you were fully capable of manifesting and creating your dreams. And your it's almost like your mission here, you know, Agent 101, um, Angel of Love and Light, Earth Angel, is to come into physical form and live a life that challenges um, your inner knowing that you are good enough that you are this divine infinite being, that you are uh, fully capable of creating and manifesting anything that you would wish or desire to create and manifest because that's how you are completely designed to be. And um, your mission in life is to remember that in spite of the obstacles that are before you. It's, it's really that all of us in many very different ways, um, but still very similar um, in, in that we're all on a hero's journey, really. We're all here to um, slay that, uh, that dragon, so to speak, called fear. Uh, everywhere where we have been conditioned to believe that if I don't behave in a certain way, I won't be loved. And if I do behave in a certain way, I won't be loved. And it really is about returning to the, the one truth that we're all trying to remember, that you really are the love. And that the more you learn to love and accept those 
definitions and judgments that others have placed upon you because that's how they learn to do their life. And the more you're willing to not just face them, but to also lovingly embrace and forgive them, that your life just completely expands and opens up. And one of the things that Leslie pointed out is this choosing our families and what a great wow, wealth of content our families do provide because they are the ones who lay the foundation of who we think we are, that conditioned idea of who we are, that we're not good enough, that we're not capable, that um, that love is kept for us can only be based upon our performance, that it, it's a It's not something that is freely given and certainly not given if someone were to know all of your all of your faults or all of your shortcomings, that if that were to be exposed, that love would be quickly withdrawn. And truly what the issue is, is that we tend to withdraw that love for ourselves because we've been taught that that aspect of ourself that is there not to like it, not to love it, because someone else has told us that that's a horrible thing to be, or not a good enough thing to be, or the wrong thing to be. And so even when you have thoughts of anger towards someone, there, there, there are people who even thinking about being angry overwhelms and floods them because they think that's just the wrong thing. And so they'll swallow their anger, and then they'll turn to turn it inward towards themselves. And then before you know it, they're um, sad, they're depressed, they start to isolate because they don't believe that if people really knew who they were, that they would be loved and accepted. And I think that what Leslie has done with her book, Cracking the Family Code, A Guide to Living Your Dreams, A Love Letter from, from My Soul, is provide you with a roadmap to undo all of that self-rejection and to undo all of the judgments that you may have uh, towards other people who have hurt you in the past or um, wrongdoings that have been done to you or that you perceive have been done to you so that you begin to heal your life. And when you can do that, it raises your vibration and it allows you to access higher level vibrational thoughts, and higher level vibrational experiences as well. And I love how she has every step of the way throughout every chapter, she is offering um, little opportunities for you to implement and learn on a deeper another, uh, uh, on a deeper and more profound level exactly, exactly how you can do it. And, you know, as with all books, some, some, some of the tools may not actually be what you need, but I I guarantee you that there is a tool in here because it's, there's so many in here that um, uh, there is something for you, especially if you are living a life where you're feeling challenged, especially if you're living a life where you're feeling you're up against a wall and um, things are not changing, then I really would invite you to purchase her book. It's a small investment in yourself that may really make a tremendous difference in your life as you move forward, because that's what we all want. We all want to live our dreams. We all want to move forward. We all want joy. We all want happiness, right? And this book is just one of those wonderful road blo- road maps that uh, Leslie has put together um, and a tool that you can definitely use in your tool chest and share it with someone you love as well. Maybe you have someone in your life who's going through a hard time, then this might be something that will really speak to them. Uh, Leslie E. Miller, I'm so sorry we couldn't get you back on the line and that we had this little technical hiccup, but Of course, Mercury is in retrograde, everyone, and that's when technology and communication tends to be um, 
have some uh, speed bumps, so to speak. But her website, Leslie, L-E-S-L-I-E, E -E -E for her middle middle name, and then Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R.com, as well as crackingthefamilycode.com. Leslie's an amazing healer. She's a, uh, she not only is a, a Reiki master, she also teaches Reiki as well as many other tools that she has in her tool chest that she sa- shares with her clients to help them change and to transform their lives. So everyone listening that's a mom, again, happy Mother's Day to you. I know we're coming up on the end of the show in just a few moments. I want to remind you that... Uh, Belinda Womack and I, we are going to have this amazing free 75-minute group healing call that's coming up in May. If you want to know more about that, go to intuitivetransformations.net. Get on that newsletter list because those are the people that are going to get the details. Or go to ah, BelindaWomack.com. Get on her email list. And uh, either way, uh, we'll cross-pollinate and we'll make sure that you get the information so you can join us on that free um, that free call, that group healing uh, that you can either access on your phone. And if you do have computer and internet, then you can absolutely uh, watch us live as we help you to um, awaken your inner alchemist so you can change and transform your life. We're going to be removing ancestral roadblocks, limitation, limit, limiting beliefs, uh, clearing up some karmic contracts. I know Belinda is going to bring in some beautiful messages from the 12 archangels. She's a phenomenal healer of the inner child. If you've had a wounded childhood, you have got to be on this call. It will change your life. I promise you. Um, let's see. I think that that's pretty much it as I hear the music and we're coming to the very, very end of the show. I just want to let you all know that life is for you. No matter what you're going through, life is for you, not against you. It's always, always on your side. Know that I love you and thank you for listening and I can't wait to talk to you again next week. Take care. Love to you. Bye-bye.